Hello everyone, it's me again, Abby, and today we're going to learn how to make salt dough feathers. So what you're going to need is half a cup of flour, a quarter of a cup of salt, and a quarter of a cup of water. So you want to combine all of these together to create a firm dough. If it's too soft and watery, add a little extra flour. So you combine this all together to create this firm dough, which you're then going to roll out. Once you've rolled it out, you can cut feather shapes out of that. Draw a line down the middle with your modeling tool and then basically create little slits in the sides. Don't go all the way through, otherwise it'll become very fragile to create kind of feather barbs, as you might call them. You're gonna flip it over and do exactly the same on the other side. And once you've done that, you can actually poke a little hole in the top. So you can see here that they're not going all the way through. You, I used my modeling knife, but I then realized later that it's actually easier with a, a lollipop stick. So I just used a little stick and poked those clean holes. You wanna put those on a baking tray. And now you wanna put those in the oven at around 160 degrees Celsius and bake them for about 15 minutes. You can flip them over. You don't want them to be brown and crispy, just so that they go hard. Now you've got all of them, different sizes and shapes. You can paint them. So I started with red and I painted the top of it red and then combined that with yellow at the ends. And then you can make little slits. The grooves that you've made before you cooked it are gonna aid in the texture of that feather. So you don't really actually have to add that much detail with the paint. You wanna paint the sides as well and then flip it over and paint the back. Once you have done that, you wanna get a black and a white paint and actually create that um, rackets down the center so firstly I get the black and I go down that crease in the middle here you can see and um, so yeah you're gonna go down that crease with the black and then go through with white so that it's more shadow effect rather than just being a black line so you want to do that with all of your feathers you can combine different colors and textures and really get creative once your paints dried you can get a piece of string or whatever you really want to do you can leave them like that put a single piece of string on each one to create ornaments what I did is just join them all onto the same piece of string by looping the string through and then over the top of the feather so that the string holds it in place so you fold the string over then you can push the loop through the string the hole in the feather sorry and then basically bring the loose end of the string and the other end of the string through there and it will secure it on. You can see this here. Some of my holes got blocked up with paint so I just poked the, the string through with a pair of tweezers or whatever you've got available. So yeah, you can link them all together, leave a similar gap between them or however you want to do it. You can freestyle it, turn this into a mobile. Here you can see that loop and both sides of the string coming through. Obviously, the more feathers you've got on, you have to actually put those feathers through the loop to secure it, which is fairly simple as long as you've got enough spare string on there. You can always cut that loose end of the string off once you've got it sorted. So yeah, this is what mine ended up like. I linked this onto kind of a display shelf of all of my other artwork. But yeah, you can do whatever you want with that. So thank you very, very much for tuning in again. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please tag us in your artwork when you do this, if you do this online. And yeah, check out our other videos on Parrot Television. Thank you very much and I'll see you all again soon.